Hi guys, Rhonda without an H here with you. Today I am going to do a quick flip through, hopefully the video is quick, of three different style journals that will be in my Etsy store this coming Saturday, September 29th at 9 a.m. That would be West Coast time. I live in Washington and that's not DC that's Washington State so but I will include a converter uh, there'll be a link in the description below that you can click on to find out what time that would be your time okay so let me we'll start we'll go we'll go smallest to largest um, this is just a really fun little time book uh, journal. I, f I found, you know, I am always going to sales looking for ephemera and wonderful goodies. And I found this time book. And I have used it in creating this fun little journal. This is done with those old pages how to describe them. You know the the old notebooks that used to be really quite heavy and were brown? A lot of them were brown. Some were different colors. Um, but they were kind of a shiny, but they were really quite heavy. Well, that's what this um, has been made of. I had some of those old notebooks. And this cover was that same shiny but not quite as thick and so I made a journal of it I also have a digital download that you can create if you would like um, in my store it's the uh, time book journal pages okay so here goes we've got pockets in the front and in the back and this includes five signatures, different colors. This one is not um, coffee or, stee or <laughs> tea dyed, but it does include a lot of old ephemera. And on each signature, I have taken the front and the back, and I have stitched which I like to do the pictures and fabrics to just give a real pleasing little design and I've used these old pages of the time book this of course is dictionary page I've also added some other pages I also have a digital download for lines dotted lines that um, are horizontal and also vertical so this is just really 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 fun I love love the vintage pages okay so this one is done in greens as you can see here's the back I've also included some of these same papers and vintage dictionaries and this one with the other papers I've got green green <laughs> to match my green all right number three purple oh do I love purples ooh la 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 I just think it's gorgeous I've put some little hearts some beautiful little floral images, fabrics, more little hearts, fabrics. Mm. And here on this one, same dictionary vintage and some of these time. This is a this time book. It's a time approved by. There's a note for the foreman and time for the month of and more lined and other papers in there here is the back of this one 
again i love i love 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 i can't even begin to tell you guys how much i love combining stitching and fabrics and papers and just oh my goodness it's just like i've died and gone to heaven some days and i love i i think this is very pleasing to the eye um sometimes i do more of a collage you know kind of a random quirky but this more controlled is also it's a favorite um way that i like to work we've got some little flowers that were stamped and watercolored and this is a stamp that i have colored and old ephemera advertisement done in yellows and I love all these colors. Obviously, why would I do a journal that uh, I didn't like the colors on? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> so, you can see that I have covered these. This particular one, because of the color, I've got some kind of a lemon yellow little bit well maybe it's a little softer a pie chiffon pie okay and then the last a dusty rose a soft a soft pink and with this one I've done a cream the only pink paper that I had was quite a bright pink and that didn't seem to I didn't like the look of that and then here of course is the back of that cover for the fifth signature and then the back okay so that is the first one and it's got two little clocks charms that I thought were wonderful and I just crocheted some of my elastic um, it's not thread what is it well elastic skinny elastic I crocheted okay we'll set that out of the way number two this is a fall travel journal and these pages I have I spent quite a bit of time creating I have eight pages it's called vintage paper vintage papers stitch collage set number one that have all of these um, papers that I have used I created it was just fun I used all kinds of vintage papers I used some washi tape I uh, I stitched a lot of it stitched and glued and just had a good time now on this you will notice if you open up the inside here I have not stitched this to my cover and that is because when you're working on something and you get this all full you don't have to reinvent the wheel you've already got the cover and when you put it in your let's do this when you put it in your uh, journal your ba, ba, ba. whoops 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 where's the middle where's the middle I think that's the middle. You see, it holds beautifully. And then, of course, you can tie that. So it wasn't uh, necessary to close that. All right, let me get that out of the way. That I, is not for sale. It's this travel, travel notebook style. Okay, so it's got a pocket in the front here. I have used tons 
uh, old images I've got in these papers I have old diary pages of a gentleman who was a lumberjack um, in the this pages these are from the 1930s okay and you've got paper clips stitching and a pocket and papers that I have lightly stamped on this comes from a, a uh, moleskin journal that I've edged around here's another paper clip done with I had a video that I showed you how I do these paper clips and that was one of those it's got a little belly band here oh let's pull it out this way a guest check and of course the back you can do all kinds of journaling on that and here again all of these pages um, are my digital downloads that you don't have to reinvent the wheel unless you want to more writing space here we've got a fun little pocket I love fall I love fall oh the colors are so gorgeous so I have tried to include a lot of leaves okay <laughs> get in there <laughs> and washi tapes more of the pages and it all I've added on top of the paper that I printed out I also added some more to give it some more texture in different places but you don't have to but this I did okay so there's a paper clip more writing space and I am just trying to go through this a little faster here's double pockets and old papers that I have edged brown paper bag old vintage papers I've got some amazing papers look it just I'm so grateful stitched <laughs> sometimes I'm like what is it <laughs> it looks so real and here is a waterfall you know I love waterfalls so I had to include one of those in this I thought that was just super fun and of course another paper clip boop, boop, boom. let's see let me do it this way and go Duh. that was silly I should have done this before all right writing paper Flip through. I gotta hurry, guys. You get the idea, though. You can definitely put a lot of thoughts, information in this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous journal.
journal. And for those of you that love fall, mm, 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 like I do, uh, here is a zine. And I have zines too. See how fun. I'd tell you all about it, but this would take so, so long. Here we've got a fun. This was done the zine style, but then I glued it together so you can't open it the same way. But look at the amount of writing. So this is, oh, I just really have had a great time working on this and I was kind of sad when it was done and I have uh, I'm always tempted to keep what I make but that's you know I just enjoy I enjoy doing these and then I enjoy sharing and I'm really excited about finally opening an Etsy store you guys have been so amazing, so, so complimentary and encouraging. I just can't even begin to thank you all. I just, I'm so grateful. And I do consider, I do consider you friends. And I would just love to just have you sit down with me in my studio up here and we would just chat and create and... <gasps> mm. Another paper clip. All right. We are getting there. And here is another belly band. I won't try to pull that one out. But, well, maybe I will. <laughs> I lie. <laughs> okay. I just have fun. Just have fun doing these. More paper. And another paper clip. So you can journal, you can write to your heart's content. And And then there is a back pocket. Now, for whoever is the lucky person that gets this travel journal, if you will, in your notes, if you would prefer to have the cover stitched, uh, the inside pages stitched to the cover, I, am, I would be happy to do that. Happy to do that for you. Okay, all right, that's number two. And then here is the, oh, <laughs> oh golly, this is my cooking recipe journal. Let's see, I'm going to have to take that back just a touch so we can move some of this. Okay, I have in traditional Rhonda style I combine fabric and paper and lace and handkerchief and just old stuff and padding, batting. Now uh, this particular one has a blind binding. Um, I did, th this is the first one that I have done where I actually hid the binding completely and I like this look so I may do some more this was just really fun this lovely I love these this is um napkins a set of six napkins that I bought in an antique store uh, some time ago and I love the way they combine the pinks and the greens and you got some black in there and even moving to the reds. 
So, and vintage lace here. And then I have uh, created a closure with ribbon. And this is not vintage, but it's beautiful. I love the colors. So I've combined pinks and reds for this. And I, I like it. I really, well, I love it. And I hope you will too. All right, here we go. Can you see that? Okay. Inside, as you can see, I have lined this with a gorgeous <gasps> cherries. Mm -mm -mm. Red cherries. We've got an inside pocket. I have recipe cards. And these, I created a digital download for the recipe cards while I was making this journal that uh, you can download as well. So, let's see. So we've got a pocket back here. And this is old music sheet paper that I just took and used a corner rounder. So we've got the recipe card. So there's three pockets here. This is done a zine style again that I've glued together and with the <laughs> with the crinkly stuff and then added some embellishments here, some tatting and some ripped up lace and here and a glassine bag with this is retro vintage guys. And I just had a ball. Just, oh, it reminded me when I was just a little girl and all those things that I thought were so boring and couldn't wait till, you know, mom upgraded. And now, oh, oh I just, oh, I would love to have some of those boring things. Okay. Plenty of writing spots for you in this journal as well. I've stitched deli paper over uh, a lot of these pages. They're old from old recipe books that I've actually taken the pages out of the book and then to give it more writing space I've stitched deli paper over that. And here again some music paper. You've got some fabric ruffles, ruffles, lace, vintage lace, images. This was an old um, vintage book or journal, um, ledger type, ledger type that I found and I love using the pages and I kept this on because I love the look of that and so I've included several of these in this particular journal. Another little embellishment here. More vintage images, more ruffles. Love the ruffles. More writing space and a pocket here. And this one, we just took several together and created a booklet. I don't know how many pages are in this, but there's a bunch. And it just slips neatly in here. This is wallpaper. This is a page. And then it's got the pocket is a color um, image from one of my cookbooks and more of the recipe cards in there. So they can be journaled on or you can put favorite recipes in, whatever you would like. I've got some coffee staining here, another glassine bag. And I do this just as a, here's a little tip for you guys. I don't glue or tape my glassing bags clear down to the sides. If I do that, it's a mistake, <laughs> number one. <laughs> but I'll tell you the reason I don't is because, see, if I just go in about a quarter of an inch on the back, then it gives it makes it so that it's got some give and you can put more things in it. 
if you need to. Whereas if it's straight, you see the difference? Yeah, that's why I do that. More recipe papers and more journaling spots. This again is the music notes. I had an uncle, oh no, an uncle once removed. The second uncle? I don't know, how does that go? <laughs> anyway, a relative of mine who used to write his own music and he had he had a lot of this kind of thing. More pages stitched up. It got stitching and here's a fun little ribbon and here's this little signature, the center of this particular one. I've got uh, strawberry washi tape. More writing space on the back here. That's what I love about this particular one is you can journal to your heart's content over these fun images. So you know you've got these cool images in the background, but then you can journal over it too. So I love that. Another pocket. And here's another little booklet. Stressed is just dessert spelled backwards. <laughs> I say eat dessert first. <laughs> Another little booklet and I've stitched that so that it holds together I included that. It just gives you know chunky texture and good stuff. And then you've got more of your a strawberry washi tape. Here's another little booklet that I put together in the zine way with lots of lines that I had printed out. Okay. Put that that way so it didn't get lost. And here's some old recipes that you can journal on. You can try whatever you would like to do. More journaling space. And here's some watermelon washi tape, which is kind of a fun thing as well. Little bit of journaling space here. The layering effect that I love to do with different papers and whatnot. Here we've got a fun little pocket. Um, and you've got some spots for journaling. This is from Julia Child. Learn how to cook. Try new recipes. Learn from your mistakes. Be fearless and above all, have fun. And of course, she was an amazing. Did any of you see that movie? Uh, Julie and Julia or Julia? Ugh. Anyway, that was a cute movie. I loved it. Here's another vintage recipe. And a tag, a fun tag, a pocket. More writing space. And we've got a fabric. This is also from a set of napkins that have this gorgeous pink embroidery on it. I don't think, I'm pretty sure this isn't hand, but this is done in the, you know, the 50s, 60s type. And here, of course, is a great little tag that you can write on. Okay. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Journaling, 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 journaling to your heart. Content. Deli paper. <laughs> crinkle, 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 little star. <laughs> Aren't these amazing? Yes, they are. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Okay, continuing on. That is the second signature. Here is the third with more of the paper stitched so that you can journal. And I've covered some of these. I just, you know, sometimes I just like to put an edging on. I, just, I don't know why. I just... I love it. I love it. 
Here we've got a small little pocket, tiny little pocket, with, I thought this could be very delicious, who knows, fresh cherry pie. Here's some cherry pie and some other pies on there with a vintage ledger sheet and more ledger sheets, vintage papers. And this was a uh, coffee dyed. Here's a writing spot and okay. <laughs> I forget what I have where. All right. And I've got this fun little tag that's pinned to this. The secret ingredient is always love. Lots of stitching. I pull the fabric out to give that edging. Ah, there. There you go. A little bit more. Nothing brings people together like good food. Just some. I printed these out. Never trust a skinny cook. I like that. <laughs> Do they really eat their own cooking? Mmm. And here's the middle of this. And this is a heavier paper right here. And here we've got some wonderful retro vintage images. And on the other side, we've got recipes. We've got another guest check here. More of the ledger paper. Never give up. Miracles happen every day. More writing space. More writing space with a fun recipe. Insert there. Another recipe. Just, you can see you've got so much writing space. And then here's another that is strictly just for writing. Or writing, uh, putting your own recipes in, putting pictures in, a glue book, whatever you want to do with it. I mean, it's there for you to use. Food is not about impressing people. It's about making them feel comfortable. That's another Julia Child quote. I like that. Obviously, I liked all the quotes that I put in here. Or I wouldn't have put them in here. <laughs> Cooking is love made visible. And then here we have a vintage from a fun little book. Um, a joke. Uh, I really like that dinner, dear. Nothing stuck to the pans. <laughs> 1977, that was. And then more writing over here. And here's another signature. No, this is still part of this signature. Sorry. Bless the food before us, the family beside us, and the love between us. Amen. And I say, Amen. <laughs> okay. Just as you can see, pockets. Here's some more recipes. Those recipe cards that I created. And here's a little boy, not sure what he thinks about having milk. And mom says, look at it this way. It's the cow's way of recycling grass. <laughs> I'm sure that makes him really want to eat it then. And here's another little sheet that has the music paper there and recipes. Good cooks never lack for friends. I believe that's really true. Slow cooked navy beans with ham. An easy lima bean soup. More writing paper. More writing spaces. And here's a fun one that we've just added some sweet little cooking images. A pocket sewn on fabric and paper, paper and fabric. You can't be sad when you're holding a cupcake. I suppose it could be true if you're holding a cupcake that you don't get to eat, but that would be the only reason. It's in the kitchen where the warmth of shared memories, laughter, and life create a recipe that spans generations. I love this. I, I just, you guys, I am so in love with this journal. 
pineapple sheet cake. Here's a, another journaling, a recipe maybe. Whatever you decide to do with it. Dessert is like feel a feel-good song and the best ones make you dance. <laughs> and then another pocket created with the vintage recipes. And this, of course, is done... Whoops, I'm making a mess here. Oop, 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 oop. This is done in the same zine style that I've talked with you about. And I have a few zine videos if you want to look in there, too. So you've got... You can journal to your heart's content. You can journal on the back. Or you can glue it up like a little book however you want to do it so this is just I've tried to include just tons and tons of space for you to write here's that same notebook paper the ledger notebook out of ledger paper I've just got we've got pockets galore <laughs> And here is another one done with vintage ledger paper. Some written on, some not. So it gives you plenty of possibilities to glue over, to write over, whatever you would like to do. Growing up, I learned life's important lessons at the dinner table. Chef John Besh, who is a current, he's not a retro, but I did include him in this. Okay, we are almost done. Another boom, boom, boom recipe card and more journaling papers that we just slip in there and slip there and that just fits in there. Neater and gum. <laughs> and then here is the back. Okay, so that is a lot of journaling for you. This would make such a great Christmas gift for someone, too. It's not too early to be thinking about Christmas for somebody that you love, care about. Okay, so this is number one. Again, my time book my travel journal notebook and my retro cooking recipe notebook there you go guys um thank you thank you thank you for your support thank you for your comments i just i can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate the love and support you have given me. I just, I want you to know I'm just truly, truly grateful. Until next time, you have a fabulous day. Bye now.